Welcome to our third and concluding segment with Blanca on how to lose body fat, which everybody's interested in, I'm sure. Uh, what do you have for us today, Blanca? Well, um, t I would start with uh, sodas, which is uh, not really good for our body, soda or diet food, because if, if you see somewhere if this is diet food or you can lose really fast and diet coke, it just don't buy, stay away, stay far away from it because it has so many chemicals in it that actually make you physically too addicted to and you actually will gain weight back and more. Yeah, that's what we talk a lot about that in the book. The, the, four, the diet is like a four letter word. It's like, you know, we're not here to promote diets. We're help here to promote healthy nutrition. Yes. Feeding your body things that are good. Yeah, I don't think that people should keep strict diet because if you go off the diet, you gain weight and you cannot keep strict diet for all your life because most of the diet, they are deprived from some things. I know that there is a high carbohydrate diet, a low carbohydrate diet, which carbohydrates are very important for our energy. So I don't really know how people keep diet low carbohydrates. Yeah, your body has proteins, fats, and car carbohydrates to choose from. The first thing it goes to is the carbohydrates because that's the easiest thing for it to break down into glucose, which yes. is your body's natural thing that it uses for energy. So it doesn't make sense to me to pull carbohydrates out of your diet when that's your body's favorite food. Yes, that's but true. When we talk about the high glycemic index carbs, those are the ones like the sugars, the white flours. Those are the things that we should avoid because they spike your blood sugar and when your blood sugar spikes, your insulin, your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin does two basic things. It lowers your blood sugar and it pulls fat to your fat stores. So those things like white sugar and, and, white, flour. and white flour, they'll make you fat because it, it, it causes that whole reaction in your body. Yes, thank you to bring this up. That was my other suggestion to limit the white flour and white sugar because the white flour actually clogged clogs up your digestive uh, system and slowing down your metabolism and as we say then we are going to repeat again and again that metabolism is very important because metabolism helps to burn fat. And a lot of people take artificial things like caffeine or a lot of these nutritional companies used to add certain things that are now like the ephedrine that are now illegal mm -hmm. to basically race your heart to kind of try to speed up your metabolism but that's not the best way to do it. The best no. way to do it is to eat healthy, to exercise, and to actually lower your resting heart rate and not take those stimulants. Because yes. those stimulants, the caffeine I've been reading, actually will make you fat also. Yes, and it's very dangerous for our body. Just, it's just playing with our lives and it's, it never works, never works. And I, I can tell from other people that they did it. I have, uh, I have friends that they were taking the ephedrine. Ephedrine. Ephedrine, yeah, they actually brought it from Russia. It was kind of business in my country mm -hmm. for a while, so they just would take the ephedrine that would, and drink coffee that would stimulate, as you said, and it's some people ended up in the hospital, so that's not fun to play mm -hmm. game with your heart. It's very dangerous, mm -hmm. and so we don't want that. We want to feel good. We want to have a lots of energy and still enjoy food. Eat when you're hungry. You shouldn't starve yourself. If your body body's hungry, you should feed it yes. because it's saying, "I'm hungry." Yes. The other thing, um, I think that we always learn new things. Some books recommend to eat every three hours. Some books recommend to eat every two hours in order to speed up metabolism. And I think that um, it's good to have regular schedule that you eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And of course, if you get hungry, you can have some snack, fruit, or some dry Yeah, fruit, a lot of people, vegetables. when they talk about eating every two or three hours, are thinking, oh, I have to prepare, prepare this big meal every yes. two hours, but that's not it. That's not it. I think that we need time to burn fat. And so if we constantly eat, if we are eating constantly, there is no energy to burn fat. So our body is focusing on digestions. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that we should live maybe five up to six hours between the meals. It just depends how people 
want to... It depends on, I think, how active they are, too. Like, yeah. people that are more active, then they're going to need to eat more often. They're going to need to eat more food. Yeah, well, to, I eat three meals a day, and uh, before I was eating every two, three hours, and whenever I went, I just, oh, I need to pack with me because I'm going to be gone for four or five hours. I don't do that anymore. And I found out that I have more energy than ever. I'm maybe well, a lot of it is because you're juicing. You're getting such high nutrient foods. Yes. I drink you know. three to five juices a day. And I have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is between like maybe five hours. And I work and I'm really active between 12 to 16 hours a day. I'm on my feet at the moment in like my life. Like six hours a day in the kitchen, right? <laughs> or more, almost all the time I'm in the kitchen and I have more energy than ever. And I don't need to eat every two, well, three I, hours. Well, you actually are eating that often because you're juicing three to five times a day plus your three meals. And those, those juicing routines, you're getting a lot of fruits and vegetables, yeah. right? Well, I, I drink my juices with my meal. So I don't actually do it between. I drink water, distilled mm -hmm. water and, and uh, teas. Mm -hmm. That's what I do between the meals. Mm -hmm. But as we said, we need uh, energy, and our body needs that um, um, energy for focusing on burning fat. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want to load our tummy. I mean, if somebody's hungry, just go ahead and eat. We don't want anybody to starve. That's not a good idea. Because deficiency, it's very harmful for our body. Well, one of the things we mention in our book is we say, do you, fill, do you go on a long trip and then fill up your car with gas? or do you? fill up your car with gas and then go on a long trip. If you're going to be active, then you eat a, a larger meal and then you can burn it off. Yes. Um, so let's go back to other um, principle. Eat organic apples all day. How do you say that? Do you have that in the United States? Eat the one apple a day and oh, keep the doctor away? Right. So that's absolutely true. <laughs> the apple, it's like full fibers and nutrients. So it's good to eat apples mm -hmm. and they're not that expensive they're really good right um one trick that it's probably really good for everyone that i personally try on myself and i recommend it to my friend is before each meal take two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar organic raw apple cider vinegar the vinegar has a uh, potential to help to burn fat so it's kind of magic. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, you can buy the big bottle, it's just two or three dollars. And uh, one of my friends go, she didn't change her diet. She, she ate actually pretty good. I mean, sometimes chocolate, sometimes sweet. And she started to do the vinegar and she started to lose weight. So that's one good suggestion mm -hmm. from me cool. for everyone who just tried to keep up with mm -hmm. his with the weight problems mm -hmm. uh, other thing um, eat the or add the black pepper or pepper or something spicy because that helps to speed up the metabolism so your body likes the spicy food yeah body likes the spicy <laughs> food just be careful you know mm. you don't want to overdo it because it can has a kind of bad effect on the tummy wall, mm -hmm. can get irritated. Mm -hmm. So be careful with spicy, but spicy foods or spices mm -hmm. helps to speed up the metabolism. And the last one, which is very exciting, cheat whenever you want. <laughs> if you really feel that, oh, you just can be without chocolate once in a while, or you're on the party and people have a, well, prepare your no, I don't favorite see you, thing. I don't see you cheating that much, Blanca. <laughs> I know you well, pretty I well. Well, I don't need to cheat because whatever I eat, I really love. I, I like whatever I eat. Mm -hmm. So, but if you like ice cream, go ahead and oh, don't, a, feel good about, yeah. don't feel bad about it. That's what we, we, we don't like saying people can't eat certain things because I think it's really important that whatever nutrition program you're on, you feel like you're free. You don't feel like you're confined because if you feel like you're confined, you're not going to stick with it long term. Yes. And my, my basic thing that, that Dr. Lockhart, you know, we teach in our book is that if you're consistently good, you can splurge and it's no big deal. But when people are consistently bad, then that's where you have problems.